Quilting a quilt often leaves people with a lot of anxiety. Um, but this lovely machine has a whole range of quilt stitches that you can choose. And I've discovered this one. It's called Serpentine. I have changed the settings on it. Yes. And I looked at my manual and I got the machine to save it so I could go to it immediately. Yeah. But it's this lovely wavy effect. It's yeah. just so great. It's fabulous. It's a serpentine stitch. Okay. And it's great because not all of us are confident at quilting straight lines, no. are we? And this, again, it's great for borders if you want to fill spaces in. And again, we find it back in the quilt section again. So we're looking back in the quilt section and we're stitch number 20. Mm -hmm. Yes, so we I can remember just go that. And select. And I think we all remember our favourite stitch settings and yes. numbers, don't we? So yes. we're going back into quilts and we go across and it's stitch number 20 it here. Yeah. And again, we've got the width and the length so we can go from 9 mil to 5 mil long. So a massive variation. That one has just got a few different variations, so is, just altering the stitch. Is this the default that I've changed? That's that's what it, the machine the opens default, up to. The default is 5 by 2. By two yeah. So that's so, here. But you, then you can stretch it out. Absolutely. You can make it a little bit wider. There's so yeah. many permutations. Yeah, absolutely. And it's a fabulous piece for filling in. That's the default setting here. It looks like waves, doesn't it? It so does. It's textile girls out there. And we'll there's a little bit of variegated thread oh, in there, which gives a little bit pretty. more depth, and then some plain thread. Yes. And it just really is such a versatile stitch for so many things. This is a little piece I did as well, because we quite like using fancy stitches on our binding at yes. times, don't yeah, we? Absolutely. So Fine. again, we've just run some lines down here, and I've altered the settings so it just sits nicely on the binding and holds it all together mm -hmm. for us. Quite so. interesting looking at your yeah. binding there and my quilting stitch, just mm. how different they yeah. look, yeah. but it's actually from the same stitch. Yeah, it is. And it's, again, it's just the versatility of the machine. Yeah. There's so yeah. many different aspects of it that we can look at and tweak and alter to suit the projects Absolutely. that we're sewing. And it's really very easy. It's very, very easy to yeah. do as well. And with the facility to save a favourite stitch for yourself, you can set it, say like you have with yours. And then every time you return, it's there waiting for you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yes, unlike me, it doesn't forget. No, it goes like to sleep. Of a piece of paper and then you can't find the piece of paper. <laughs> I know. Well, Jane and I hope that uh, that will help you finish a lot of your quilts, both with the binding and with the quilting stitch, from the same stitch.